Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 464. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first up, new screenshot reveal QD mark for some of the G5 ponies. Um, okay, uh, this is kind of, kind of minor on the grand scheme of new things. Uh... New of new new what 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 okay anyway, uh but we have a screenshot popping up from my the My Little Pony Facebook page as you can see we have a few new Q mark shots, as well as slightly different poses. Okay, let's see what we got here. Alrighty then, okay. So yeah, um. <laughs> This is kind of a non-news. I was hoping for more, but um, as you can see, um, the characters are, well, they're all there. I forgot their names. So yeah, <laughs> they, they look good though. I mean, can't wait to see where this goes. Wow, this is such a non-news. Uh, you can see all of the, uh, all of that in the new, in the new image above. Hopefully we get trailer soon. Yeah, when is that coming out? It's been a while. But anywho, let's move on to the next one. Hope the next one's better. Oh, it is. Kotobukiya looking for ideas for the next pony figure after Celestia and Luna. So, uh, Kotobukiya has tossed a new tweet asking the community for input on who they want to see join the figures lineup you see up above the main six celestia luna and sunset streamer have all been re created in human form at this point so we have sorry so so we are venturing into the i the side ponies and backgrounds now so far, uh, so far it's looking like a few characters are standing out among the crowd. Go get your input to it over here. Okay, let's see. Let's see what have the community passed down in their votes. <clears throat> okay, this is taking long. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> uh, Okay, okay, we got some, we got some, we got some. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh man, good small company. Man, they just... Okay, and here. <clears throat> so, um, that is a good question. Who do you want to see next in the lineup? And if I'm not mistaken, uh, it Questra Daily uh, put up some votes and let's see what they pick. Uh, they had Kutulu, Sweetie Bell, Apple Broom, Chrysalis, Trixie, Autumn Breeze, sorry, Autumn Blaze, Derpy Hoof, Cadence, Starlight Glimmer, Tempest Shadow, and others. So all of them are really good choice. And for me personally, even though I want to see Tempest, and Starlight, but my vote's for Derpy because Derpy is awesome and she should be in, well, more things. But uh, let's see the results. So the results for 290 votes, a 30.18% is Starlight Glimmer. And I don't mind it because Starlight Glimmer is kind of awesome and she kind of deserves to be there. But Tempest is not there. Huh, that's pretty interesting. So anywho, um, Derpy is there with 14% uh, of the votes, which is kind of low in my books. But when you take a look, see at the vote count, it's around 144 votes. So that is a lot. <clears throat> so let's see. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I feel like Kotobukiya here has found their niche on what they want and it seems like uh, doing the ponies is kind of okay for them. 
it's at the right price and there's a lot of fans who want it, so that's awesome and here's the thing um if they do come out with more uh, they need to kind of do a set or a what you call this team uh, if you have starlight you gotta have trixie uh, if you have who now um okay uh, if you have chrysalis you gotta have uh tempest because well they're kind of villains and whatnot autumn blaze who is autumn blaze oh yeah they're kirin and then um technically for now they should have put up cadence because she's part of her princess so what you had uh celestia luna and then cadence would be the trifecta for the princesses so that would make a lot of sense there um and then when you go to others um derpy could be comboed off with autumn blaze probably if they want to do that uh if you do apple bloom you got to do the cmc's it's a well the cmc's are kind of the set there so you can't have one without the others so yeah <laughs> Uh, there's always the music musicians uh you got what vinyl and octavia so those two are kind of a set uh if you go for what others like you could go for male characters but this is the bishojo line so it should be um female characters um lyra bon bon those are a good pair to get but when you think about it you they they need to get things that people will buy not things that example i say i want and it's really cool granted that the idea of having uh, lyra bonbon is cool but i don't think that's gonna be enough to make a sale but anyway um talking about the ponies and other things um yes kotobu kia to release hatsune miku my little pony we showed you a figure so yeah um what we want yeah what sorry what kotobuki wants from us is just ideas but they already have one in the line up for the others <laughs> oh boy okay hasune miku meets kotobuki's official license my little pony we show just statue series it is a um popular line that sega here wants in on it <clears throat> let's see Oh wow, this this is high quality picture. All right, cool, 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 cool. So uh, Hatsune Miku cross my little pony. That's very interesting because, as far as I remember, there haven't been any figures or there haven't been any what you call this uh, crossovers done by them at all. Uh, let's see. Uh, art by. Choo -choo -choo -choo. Krypton Future Media Incorporated. Uh, if I, oh yeah, Sega is the game, but the others is something else. Okay, so yes, this is cool. This is cool. Uh, we can see Miku here. She's going to be well. Miku's just going to be Miku, so that's awesome. But the pony figure for Miku is really going to be really interesting. I wonder how my friend that is a Miku fan is going to react to this. Uh, as you can see here, um, from the mock-up, her tail is going to be glittered with uh, musical notes, while her earphones are going to be upward in that sense. Like that, that's going to be very interesting. <coughs> but with that, that's end of the news. So, yes, um. With all the news that's been going on, that's pretty awesome. I can't wait to see this one in stores. Uh, we got no idea when they're going to come out, but hey, uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Other than that, um, well, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is what have I been doing with my week. So, with the current state of Malaysia right now, uh, we are in our her MCO movement controller 
Uh, this is movement control order number three. Uh, and this time around, we kind of are in a lockdown state. Um, it's not that bad because what we've been through this a while now and other people have been going through it again, blah, blah, blah. So, um, what that entails for me is um, more time at home, more doing of the other things, yes. Uh, let's see, other things then, well, like I mentioned before, like, not going anywhere, um, I have been playing some games. Uh, one of the few games that I picked up is called Hades, uh, on the PC, and Hades is a isometric, uh, top-down isometric game where you play as, hmm, who is the guy's thing? Um, Zegra, yes, Zegra. Uh, he is the son of Hades, and he is trying to escape hell, in a sense. So it is a very fun game. I completed it a few times, and it is very fun and very interesting. Uh, other things than that, other games I've been playing Disco Elysium, and that is fun. That that is another kind of game, like. Top-down isometric view, uh, action kind of game to top-down isometric view storytelling game where you play as a wash-up detective trying to solve a murder case. Yes. So yeah, um, that's about it for the C games, and well, technically that's about what I want to share. But other than that, um, things have been pretty going pretty well. Things have been going pretty well. Um. I'm going to say that uh, with the lockdown, I haven't been doing a lot. Like, just doing the whole uh, rigmarole of doing the same thing. But other than that, um, that's about it. And, well, let's wrap it up. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. <clears throat> also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also Stitcher Radio, and also like the Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Uh, over there, you can catch me and Tara reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and series, or specials. And also, sometimes we like to do other things than ponies, and those are cartoon, comics, animes, video games, and movies. Yes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a weekly access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself, Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Roman Sanzo. And I'll guys and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.